What is up, everyone? Guess what? It is your man on fire, mentor, David Mailer. And you know what time it is. That's right. It is time to dive into the center of the fire. And today, we are going to talk about a hot topic. You just don't know it's hot, but it's hot. And what is that topic? Haha. <laughs> That topic is the merry-go-round syndrome. All right. So what's this? What what the hell am I talking about? This merry-go-round syndrome. This is the syndrome that is plaguing humanity. It's the syndrome that's plaguing man today. And it's what is so awesome about man on fire. I'm going to tie it all together for you. You ready? All right. Here we go. We're diving into the center of the fire with this. So I've had the... Uh, luxury of having some great teachers, you know, mentors in my life, uh, one of which is Donnie, one of which is Tony. And I've been very blessed since a very young age, all the way uh, back to age of uh, 21, 22, of having just amazing teachers, coaches, mentors in my life. Um, You know, people that have lived longer, have more life experiences, could save you the headache of making the the mistakes that many many of us make and can impart wisdom and you know as a side note one of the greatest well probably the greatest mentors that are out there today are the ones that are fully living what they're teaching and that's um a pain point because sadly you don't have a lot of a lot of people that at, are living at the level and integrity of what they're out there teaching. And that's not to spoil the message. doesn't mean there's not phenomenal teachers out there. There there are. But um, where I'm at at this stage of my life is in really wanting to invest my time and my energy uh, in being around people that are are living with high levels of congruence. So with all that said, there's a a syndrome that's going around, which I call the merry-go-round syndrome, which basically has to do with you as a man um you know there's aspects of you there's parts of you that speak about how you want a bigger and you want a better life and i want this and i want that and i want more more money and i want a nicer car and i want a better house and i want i want um you know an amazing marriage with amazing kids and and here's the vision that i have and the goals that i have and you want all these things and and for so many the syndrome, the merry-go-round syndrome stops you. And so, you know, what is it that I'm speaking about? I'm speaking about that there are different levels of consciousness that we're all afforded uh, the opportunity to blossom into, to grow into during this lifetime. Donnie, my teacher for many years, um, talks about it. He wrote a book called The 12 Stages of Healing, phenomenal book. And he talks about that basically there's 12 tiers of consciousness that we all have the rite of passage to, to pass through, to go into. And sadly, um, the majority of humanity will vacillate between the first three tiers or the first three stages. He calls them the stages of healing for the purposes of this podcast. I'm just going to refer to them as uh, stages of consciousness, right? Stages of awareness or states of awareness. And so let's talk about those and let's see how it might relate to your situation. Then we'll tie this into, well, then how does this relate to Man on Fire? So the first level of consciousness or the first stage of healing as taught by uh, Donnie and many other you know people out there is uh, he calls it suffering. And that's where things uh, appear or feel helpless and hopeless and you are you feel resigned and you feel like there's no way out of this situation and uh, you're coming from a place of lack or scarcity. I don't have enough. I don't have enough energy. I don't have enough time. Um, how am I going to get through this? And and deeply encoded in that experience is there's a feeling of being unworthy. There's a feeling of being unlovable. There's a feeling of being inadequate, not good enough. And uh, ultimately, you know, this feeling leads to a feeling of isolation. Like I don't fit in. I don't belong. And sadly, for, for many people who live in this state or this stage of consciousness, this tier of consciousness, some might even consider, if not have, taken their life when they feel alienated and they feel like there's no way out of this pain. There's no, there's no, there's no way out, and it's a very sad place to live. And then, you know, uh, you, many will then make the next tier, the next jump 
you know, so the merry-go-round goes up just a little bit and you make it into the next level of consciousness, the next stage of healing, and that is called uh, polarity. And that is where you no longer feel helpless and hopeless, but you have enough energy now to be pissed off and to point your finger outside of yourself and say it's his fault, it's her fault, it's my wife's fault, my ex-wife's fault, the accountant's fault, the president's fault, um, the government's fault, the economy's fault, uh, my boss's fault, my employee's fault. It's always somebody's fault as to why things are the way they are in your life. So you name, you blame, you shame, you judge, and you project you're constantly looking outside of yourself as to why your life is the way it is and it has to do with things outside of you. That same person will also have a tendency to look for the magical pill, the magical potion, and the magical lotion to come and save them or to come and, and fix them, make it all go away, you know, make this nightmare just end. And so that, that person will, oh, I found the, the most incredible this, you know, barber, therapist, chiropractor, whatever it is, acupuncturist, uh, medication, I found the best, it's the best. And, you know, relationships that begin with polarity will end with polarity. You very quickly take whoever you've deemed a hero and you turn them into a zero. And as you can relate, guys that are listening, many people pretty much reside in this uh, state of consciousness, in polarity where you get triggered and you have charges, right? How you'll know you're in this place is you're always naming, blaming, shaming, judging, projecting. You recognize you get charged and triggered around certain family members or around an ex or maybe even around your wife or you're looking for that magical pill, potion, or lotion. That's how you'd know that you're primarily resonating in that stage of consciousness, that stage of healing. Well, then some will go up a little bit higher on the merry-go-round and they go into stage three. And stage three, as taught by Donnie, is called stuck. And that's where you realize you're stuck. Oh my God, I've repeated this pattern over and over and over again. I can't believe that that this happened again. I can't believe that every time I, I make all this money, um, I lose it again. Or every time I become a millionaire, I go back and, and I the, the money just drains as quickly as I, I made it. Or this is the third promotion I was promised and uh, it wasn't delivered. Or this is the second or the third partner that's had an affair on me. And you start to realize that you are stuck and that you keep repeating a pattern over and over and over again. And it's the first time ever in your life where you're starting to take a level of responsibility and recognizing that this pattern I am the common denominator. And it, rather than stage two, where you get to blame something outside of you or look for something outside of you to fix you as the magical source, you now realize, my God, if, if this is to change, it has to be me changing because I'm the one that's stuck and I'm the common denominator. And so many people will start to get into this stage of awareness, this stage of consciousness, but there's a problem. And this is where Man on Fire comes in. The problem is is that in order to then blossom into the next tier of consciousness, the next stage of healing, you need emotional leverage. You need enough emotional leverage. You need to be angry enough, pissed off enough, bold enough, courageous enough to put your sword in the ground and draw a line in the sand and to literally say the words, enough. Enough of playing small. Enough of living beneath and below the contract of who I was born to be. Enough of selling myself short. Enough of not living with honor, with integrity, with congruence, with coherence, with alignment to who I was born to be. Enough of selling my family short, my kids short, my wife short. Enough. It ends today. Now, some of us have tasted this experience. Very few of us sustain it. And as I shared with stage three, when you feel that level of stuckness, what's required at that moment is to feel the immense frustration. And I key word is feel. And because once you can feel it and you can actually be with those emotions, you very well may have enough leverage to get into stage four where you say enough. So what's the problem? Well, the, one of the problems is that the culture doesn't support a man in being in his emotions. Uh, we're taught that if you go into your emotions, you're a sissy or you're a girl or there's something wrong with you or why are you crying? Don't be a baby. We're not taught uh, that it's okay to be vulnerable. 
Um, and there's lots of connotations and lots of um, projections on a man that, you know, gets to connect with his emotions. In addition to that, there's certain emotions that most men haven't really had a mature role model of how do you get with these emotions in a way that's healthy. So, for example, anger and rage are primary emotions that can drive you to make amazing change in your life. But if you misuse them, then you might hurt yourself or you might hurt somebody else. So a lot of men will swear off anger. They'll swear off rage. They'll swear off frustration. Oh, there's no point to that. Or maybe a father figure or a mother figure would have withdrawn their love if you exhibited this type of behavior. Again, because nobody taught you how do you get with that emotion in a way that's constructive? How do you get with those feelings in a way that you could use it to take inspired and empowered action? And so... Um, the culture doesn't support a man in connecting to those emotions. And if the man hasn't done enough personal work on himself, then he very well may use that emotion to harm himself or to harm somebody else, which we would never support in the man on fire world. You have to have the emotional depth and the emotional maturity, the maturation to know how do you get with these feelings without, uh, again, harming someone, something, or including yourself. And if you can learn to harness that, which is exactly what we teach men, how do you harness these beautiful emotions and use them constructively as opposed to destructively? How do you use them constructively to make fundamental changes in your life? Then you start to develop the leverage uh, to have transformation happen for you. So this merry-go-round is where most of uh, humanity, most men, They'll vacillate between, you know, stage one, uh, suffering, I'm not, I don't feel good enough, there's nothing I can do about it, it's too late for me, this feeling will never go away, into stage two, screw you, it's your fault, or oh good, I found the magical pill, potion, lotion, or genie, and then they taste stage three where they feel stuck, but unfortunately they don't allow themselves to go into the fullness of the frustration where they then can catapult themselves, have enough momentum to birth into stage four where they say enough. So most of us just go through the merry-go-round where you go from stage one, two, three, back down, one, two, three, like a merry-go-round. If you're able to see my hand, you would see I'm just going up and I'm going down. I'm going up and I'm going down. So you're really going nowhere. It's like a hamster on a wheel. You're just vacillating between these three stages. And um, how does that all relate to Man on Fire? Well, how that relates to Man on Fire is that, you know, we're not looking to work with the man that's in stage one or two. Like if you turn us into a magical genie or into the heroes that are gonna save you or fix you, you will uh, quickly wanna turn us into a zero. You'll quickly wanna get rid of us. We're not looking to work with the guy that wants to be saved. We're not looking to work with the guy that um, you know is in a deep state of suffering. There's plenty of amazing modalities in healing arts and therapy where you can help yourself or get help in that particular area of your life. Man on Fire uh, attracts and works more with the man that is right at the precipice of stage three into stage four, where you realize that you're the common denominator. You no longer wish to point your finger outward, externally at others, and blame others for your situation or your circumstance or your life. You realize that it's on you. You realize that fundamentally you're the one that has to change. You're the one that has to up-level. You're the one that has to step into a greater level of authenticity, and you're ready to reclaim your power. You just don't necessarily know how. And in addition to that, you know that you can't do it alone. You know that you need support. You know that you need to be challenged because men will rise with challenge. Iron sharpens iron. And you know that you need to be held accountable, which is a huge component of our organization when you enter into one of our uh, coaching programs. You're going to get support, you're going to get challenged, and you're going to be held accountable. And there's an old expression that, you know, your growth begins at the end of your comfort zone. Nobody joins Man on Fire to be comfortable. You join to get uncomfortable because that's where your growth will begin. So we have a tendency to work more with the man that is in the stage three, stage four, or even the stage four energy where he's ready to, ready to um, reclaim his life and live more empowered and inspired. And he's ready to slay the dragon, the boogeyman, the demons, you know, all the stories and lies and illusions and bullshit that he's been living in and swimming in and really start to go for and step into uh, authenticity, congruence of who he really is and, and live more from his soul and his heart and less from his ego. This is the man that we're after. So 
who comes to us is men that, you know, most likely they own their own business. They're crushing it uh, financially. They do really well. Um, it's possible that they're, the work that they do is not their greatest passion, but it's what's provided an extraordinary life for themselves and their family. And their, their greatest pain point is either they feel disconnected from their true mission and deeper purpose here as a man on earth and or they don't have the same success with their marriage that they do in their business. And it is very painful for them to not feel that they can achieve and have the uh, presence from their wife in her eyes where the, the admiration, the love, the respect, the trust, you know, exuding from her, that's lost because many men, sadly, uh, the sacrifice of them becoming successful in life uh, had been at the expense of dropping presents and not being present with their family and with their wife. And it's put up walls. It's created an eradication of trust. And so it's hard for them to sleep at night because they don't, again, feel that same level of success in their family life, in their personal life, especially the marriage that they do in their business life. So I say this with the utmost respect in that man of fire truly is not for everyone. We, we cannot help everyone. We're very clear on, on who we uh, serve, who we can work with. Um, we can help obviously people like just through a lot of the free content that I put out there, it, it can be very helpful for guys no matter what stage of consciousness you're in. But in terms of our coaching programs, uh, the right fit for us and for you is the guy that's, you know, blossoming somewhere between stage three, where you, you know, you're stuck, you're willing to take responsibility, you're, you're willing to then build up enough emotional intensity which will teach you how to do and use that as leverage to say enough and to start standing in the, the conviction and uh, of who you really are as a man, where you're, you're reclaiming and learning how to be a masculine leader in the different domains of your life. This is what we're after. We're after uh, men that really want to make a difference in this world, but it starts with you starting to have the courage to live into the congruence of who you were born to be. So I wanted to talk to you today, guys, dive into the center of the fire about that merry-go-round and and take a look at well where are you at you know are you in that first stage one where you're suffering and you feel like it's helpless and it's hopeless um there's help out there for you it's man of fire is likely not the right fit are you in stage two where you're looking for the magical pill potion lotion or genie that's going to save you a lot of guys will write us help me help me we can't help that person because you're you're not in a place where we're the right fit for you right we're clear that we're not the right fit but there are people that can help you. Perhaps different types of uh, modalities and therapies are the right fit for you. Um, if you're still blaming things outside of you and you think your life is the way it is because of her or him or it or them or they or the government, whatever it is that you're, you're putting in there, we're probably not the right fit for you. But if you realize that it's time for you to start feeling your emotions again, it's time for you to start, you know, reconnecting, breaking into your body where you buried all the crap, you buried all the shit and you want to use that as leverage, start making fundamental change in your life. You want to uh, win back the or earn back the trust and the intimacy in your marriage. And you know that um, there's more for you in this world, in this lifetime for you to accomplish, but not so that you could feel like you're enough. Not so that another success or achievement or plaque or trophy or more money is going to make you feel better. You realize, no, it won't. You recognize you're here to be of greater service to the world, greater service to humanity. But you recognize that you're disconnected or disassociated from your deeper purpose, your deeper mission. That's who Man on Fire is truly for. And if a guy listening to this right now says, yeah, that's me. I need this. Well, then you let us know. Let us know. Reach out to us. Uh, you could always email us at support at manonfirerising.com. You can click on just about any one of my videos that's out there and apply to speak to one of our coaches. Yeah, this is for the guy that is absolutely ready to make an investment in himself financially. And if you're clear that Man on Fire is the right fit, great. If it's not, at least um, go get support with somebody that uh, feels like the right fit for you. But we're not looking to work with the man that is not in a place where he's ready to make an investment in himself to grow. Um, and as I shared earlier, we're, we're not here to work with the person that is in the deeper stages of suffering or polarity. There's many different modalities and arts out there and therapies out there that would be a more appropriate fit. And I say that again with the most utmost respect because we have an immense amount of love for all of our brothers 
no matter where you're at in your journey, we're just super clear on who it is that we want to serve, who we can serve, who is the best fit for us, and, and how we can be the best fit for you. All right, guys, so much love, and here's to you always rising with passion, with power, and with purpose. It is your man on fire mentor, David Mailer. Thank you for diving into the center of the fire today with me to discuss the merry-go-round syndrome. And if you want off the merry-go-round and you're ready to put that sword in the ground and say enough and time for you to live with more coherence and congruence and alignment into the real authentic version of who you came here to be, then reach out to us. All right, guys, so much love. It's your man on fire mentor. Signing off.